Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about recovery for free diving. And the reason why I choose this topic it is because when I see the conversation uh, about how often do I need to train free diving or can I combine free diving training with some other forms of training like gym workout, etc. Then the, usually the only one answer is okay, it depends on how intense your training so it depends on your intensity this is a uh, how you can choose how many times let's say per week you can train if intensity is high then train less if intensity is low then you can train more frequently but it's not that simple so yes intensity is a really important factor uh, here but also how well you recover from your training is also an important factor and this is what we want to talk today but before we continue uh, if you're first time here my name is Sergey I'm a freediving instructor trainer and on this channel I'm sharing with all of you everything what I know about freediving so if you're first time here subscribe to this channel click the like button and if you have any question to me please feel free to ask me in a comment section below and also guys a little disclaimer by no means I'm an expert in this topic so um, I really love to recommend uh, this book Recovery for Performance in Sport for those of you who want to learn a little bit deeper about such subject. Also there is a plenty of other sources where you can find useful information. There is a few YouTube channels which I highly recommend uh, to understand a little bit deeper what I'm planning to talk today and I'm gonna put them in the description below so please check it out. There is a experts who know much more uh, on these topics compared to me. One of the most important part of your recovery strategy is to have enough sleep. Sleep deprivation is going to lead to decline in performance uh, in your performance. It's also gonna make you uh, a little bit more susceptible to different illness. So this is why make sure that if you are trained hard, make sure you not compromise your sleeping, right? So what I implement for myself is that every night I have at least se seven and a half or eight hours of sleep. So there is also quality of sleep. Uh, again, check out the link in the description, the explanation of how you can improve the quality of your sleep. For myself, uh, what I'm doing, let's say an hour before my sleep time, I try not to have a like really bright light I try to use only, let's say, uh, bed lamps instead of uh, overhead light. Uh, I try to minimize the time which I use on my computer or cell phone, etc., etc. And try to, like, uh, do some kind of relaxed activity, such as maybe stretching, or maybe some like a reading, uh, like stuff like that. And in this case, my like I feel that the same amount of sleep give me like more recovery. Make sure, make sure you're not compromising your sleep time. So if you have something, if you have important training in the morning, make sure you go to bed early. Or if you couldn't go to bed early, then you more likely need to shift your training session from early morning or maybe even cancel it. Because remember, if you're compromising your sleeping uh, time, then you're compromising your recovery. And if you're compromising your recovery, you're compromising your adaptation for your training sessions. So you're actually not doing any good if you train hard and sleeping not enough. Second important part of your recovery is adequate nutrition. So at the moment there is no like one diet which can be the best diet for free diving. Everyone experimenting what works for them uh, and probably you should do the same. So for myself what I'm doing I'm making sure that it is uh, like high quality of the food which I consume. I try to reduce the amount of fast food and try to increase the amount of green vegetables or fruits, etc, uh, etc. Et so this is uh, my approach. Pretty simple, I know. Uh, you can try to dig a little bit deeper in this topic, but make sure that your nutrition intake, make sure that your food is enough uh, for you to bring all the essential elements. Another important part of recovery is hydration. So we all know that our body uh, have our body consists of our body mainly consists of the water. Right, 65, 70 percent of our body is water. So obviously we don't want to lose too much water. And uh, if you're losing too much water during our training session, we need to take it back um, by drinking. 
especially if you do intense training especially if you're living in a hot climate like we are doing here in Thailand it is a hot climate so if you're training in such places in Philippines in Thailand in Dahab then make sure you consume enough water to uh, bring your hydration back sometimes drinking too much water can be a counterproductive because remember especially when you're training you're not only losing the water you're also losing the essential uh, micro elements so make sure you recover these elements as well so what i'm doing in this topic uh, i like to uh, like be a little over hydrated just a little over hydrated before my training sessions whether it is a session in a pool in the ocean or whether it is a gym session so usually before such session like half an hour before i drink a couple of glass of water and usually it is not pure water usually there is a little electrolytes in this water so this is gonna uh, prevent me to become a dehydrated during my, during my training session some people like to drink during the training session uh, for free diving sessions I don't do it uh, usually let's say my pool session is one hour I don't usually drink during the session however some people do and in my case I like to drink like half an hour before uh, a couple of glasses of water and then right after my training session is over I try to rehydrate as quickly as possible so this is my approach maybe uh, your approach can be slightly different maybe you want to drink during your training session again some free divers do it um, but this is my approach so again check it out the link in the description is going to be a nice video about uh, like hydration in a different for, for the different sports and the last thing what i want to talk today is the stretching for recovery uh, stretching is for recovery is not that simple so we used to believe that uh, stretching significantly improving recovery uh, after let's say a gym workout and nowadays uh, looks like it is not looks like the stretching itself not doing that much uh, for recovery of the uh, of your muscles however what i found beneficial from stretching it is uh, improving uh, let's say your feel of well-being right so for example you feel tired and then you do like a 15 20 minutes stretching session and then you feel feel better so in my approach i mainly do stretching for this i don't think that the stretching of my muscle actually improving recovery inside these muscles but i definitely know that when i do like 15 20 30 minutes stretching in the evening then uh, i feel i just feel better so this is a uh, my approach for stretching again in a description it's going to be link as well for this topic um, for the for the stretching so guys to summarize uh, four important part of your recovery pretty simple uh, enough sleep enough nutrition enough hydration and stretching is probably going to be beneficial as well maybe not the not for the recovery of the muscles itself but maybe for uh, just the feel of well-being there is a different strategies as well such as massage such as a different thermal eye uh, change as uh, ice bath or like sauna or like supplementation we're not going to touch these subjects today not because they are not that important just because i don't really have a like a solid knowledge about uh, these topics and maybe i'm going to do the video about these topics in a future when i'm going to learn a little bit more myself so guys hopefully this video was useful uh, make sure that you have enough recovery uh, this is going to help you to stay healthy and also to train more and then by training more you're actually going to become a better freediver so once again if the video was helpful don't forget to click the like button and i will see you next time